Okay, so this is where we start. Okay, so we've got JavaScript here. And this is the basic fundamentals which you want to learn, right? It's variables, it's functions, it's if statements, it's classes and loops, right? Obviously, there's a lot more to it, but these are like the basics. I guess you don't really need to learn so much about classes. Uh, you can actually just learn how it works and figure out, you know, you know, what's the point of it. Honestly, this is all you need, right? The variables, the functions and if statements and the loops and all that type of stuff that is the basics of understanding javascript right and this is what you're going to work with right these are the kind of the things which you need obviously loops i mean in react you use a lot of dot map method to render items and render cards and whatever component you want to render multiple times so the the loops you don't really use that much but you can use them when it comes to you know handling data in a backend but otherwise you won't be using so much of like that type of for loops you'll be using the dot map method variables functions and if statements it's a must obviously obviously most people know what that is so these are like the basic fundamentals of you know just javascript in general and if we come over here this is kind of where you want to start with javascript you obviously learn to build a basic web page maybe build like an you know like some sort of i don't know like coffee website page where you show different types of coffee uh stuff right right that's just the brand and you show like a hero component and you've got some text you know best coffee you know just a basic website right and that's kind of all you need right you can't just do this with plain javascript obviously you need this is obviously obviously uh, index.html, this is HTML, right? But this is kind of like your basic website, and then you obviously style, style it with CSS, and then that's it. You make it look amazing, and you use JavaScript to... So the, time, the times where you're going to use JavaScript is like times when it's like when the device, the screen shrinks, and then you have JavaScript to handle this where okay you use css and then all of a sudden you've got this hamburger menu which goes like that across the screen and then when you click it it has like a little drop down menu that's the javascript so you would use like the append method and you would append html to the screen and then it'll be like the css will be already styled but obviously that's what you would use javascript for so you got like the the uh, dot append child element and all that type of stuff so a pen method as well and there's a lot of methods to it but what you can do is actually just go to the javascript documentation which I'll, I'll leave down below and what you do is you just read through the javascript documentation to understand concepts which are not in this video okay and oh by the way that's also the best way that you should learn is to also read documentation okay so that's like basically the basics of javascript so now if we come over to react this is kind of where you would start on a framework and I would suggest starting with react before doing any other framework to be honest these other frameworks are just garbage right that's just what I've handled that's what I've dealt with so get rid of that I actually started with uh, view and then I realized that I tried to uh, build a mobile app with it and it looked just it didn't work because the project is no longer maintained <laughs> so that little app that i worked on was pretty much pointless so get rid of that honestly if i was to choose one and one only i would go with react because it includes things like i mean you've already got shared components you've already got like methods and use of uh what is it called react hooks right you've got hooks which svelte doesn't obviously use it has its own presets but like I said in this video, I'm more talking about React because honestly, you, you should master one, not many. So start with uh, React, right? Okay. And then what you want to do is, this is kind of the basics, right? Oops, that's not what I wanted to use. So these are the kind of basics, right, of React. So you use React hooks, right? So React hooks, I'll just put hooks. You don't really need that. Uh, hooks include, right? So the hooks are use effect, use 
a ref and sorry let me just keep typing so use ref oops okay there we go oh yeah that's another thing you can also the best thing about react is that it's easy to ins get you know it's easy to set up it's easy to install other types of stuff like react query is right so i mean that is not that's more of a library but you know react query is another one uh use memo it should the, the list goes on right the list goes on about this stuff i'll put a low case so use effect use ref use memo and there's a lot more uh, which i cannot name the top of my head but these are the basics you need to understand right i uh, definitely use effect you'll be using that a lot and so essentially so hooks uh, my favorite part is the components so you can actually use uh re reusable is that how you spell reusable usable I think so maybe uh not sure uh, so reusable components so when it comes to using components you can use the same component more than once without writing the same html right so for example i'll try to explain this uh, before to another beginner so essentially let's say this is your website right let's just say this is an index html right and so this is just a regular html website there's no react and when you write a header component right or even a card component like this right in html how would you duplicate that card most people will literally copy the same html code again and paste it and then paste it and then paste it it's terrible you don't want to do that the cool thing about react is when you use react you can have reusable components so you write the code once and you can use it anywhere so you write the code once and you just reuse the component multiple times and the coolest thing is there's a thing called props so there's another thing called props or properties and the coolest thing is that that so let's say that you have a card again run you have the title you have the description right and then maybe you have a button on the card right i'll just do that so that's like a button or something so you write the code and then you use props so let's say like this is a prop the name is prop and then the description is also a property name description right and then obviously the button as well but essentially what will happen is the coolest thing about this is that once you define the prop right you can use the same component again and you can actually change the title description and the name of the button without actually going to the html and changing the text right so you can change that okay this is a little bit confusing right i think i'll, I'll just quickly you know, do a react video on it but that is it so in the next video i'll probably do something to reusable components of react okay so but that's that is that is the basic setup on how you would use react all right reusable components in react so let's just get rid of this so obviously reusable components as a prop or we use props and the best thing is that when you use components you can use the dot map method to render multiple let's say items right which could be cards like you don't have to rewrite the same card again you can re-render it as well this is the same way that you can do with reusable components and another really cool thing about react is obviously like i said it's easy to set up easy to set up and when it comes to so you got hooks you got reusable components that's another thing you can also use typescript with it right so you can include you know type checking and all that type of stuff uh, you, by the way you use a thing called functional components right and or functional uh well, so you, you don't use classes okay so forget about classes you don't use classes the modern practice is to use functional components meaning it's in a function it's not a class right and i think honestly that is if, if you don't know too much about that what you can do is you can just go to the react of dev documentation and you can go to here and actually look at what it, okay here here's a perfect example so function button and then it renders the html once that means you can repeat the same thing again and again and again without actually 
So basically you call this function multiple times, it will repeat that, right? So you don't have to write out the same code again and again and again. But with props, this is what I was talking about. So let's say you have a button, right? Okay, well, let's say, okay, this is a card component. Let's just say it's a card component. Actually, we could make a card component. So let's do that. So function card, I'll just say card. And then essentially what I'll do is I'll return the result and I'll just have that there. And then what I'll do is I'll have my card component. Oops, uh, I think I'll just do div. So I have my div and then I have, let's say, uh, the h1. Well, maybe let's do h3. Okay. Wait, can I do tab? No, I can't. Okay, so you'll just do h3. Okay, there's my h3. And then in here, I'll have the title. And then that is a prop, right? You see that? That's a prop. You pass it in there. And then so the coolest thing about this is, you know, <laughs> watch the security. So I come down here. So it's a card component. What I can do is now is do what this does. And I just, I just use that again. See? And... Okay, yeah. Okay, so you don't see it yet, but this is a prop. So you get the title, and then you put title there, and you enter the description. Hello world. There we go. And I can actually reuse this component multiple times in my application. See that? So the, you know, the component. So what I can actually do is change it. Change it. You know, awesome. You see that? And I can reuse the component and actually change the description inside the component without actually going into the HTML and changing it manually, right? Like typing it out like this, right? I can just have a prop and I can define it just like that and repeat it. Obviously you can include your own styles, right? But that that's just how you do it, okay? So, and you can add other description. Description, oh, yeah. We well, can add anything you want, right? So you know, add anything, you know, it's just the reusable components. So that's the coolest thing about React. It uses props. And also if the, if the card, if this was an actual card, you can use the same thing again. Okay. Well, I can't do that. Okay. But you can see that it uses the, so by the way, that's not a prop. You can see that. So let's just make this into a prop real quick. And then, so I'll say, let's say text, right? Oh, oops, 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 oops. don't do that. So what you do is, is just type in text, right? And you copy text and then you paste text in here. And then essentially you go to the component. I'm having a difficulty scrolling for some reason. Okay, there we go. And then you go to here and then you add the text, text, and you just say, hi there, right? There we go. So that's how you can use and, you know, manipulate the DOM using React and stuff like that, which is really cool. The same way you can pass uh, with a image component and stuff like that. Honestly, it's it's the best thing which you can do. And obviously, you can implement that style. You can see here that that's also a prop. We're creating a, an object, right? And that's another thing you want to learn uh, in JavaScript is objects as well. How do they work? Right, actually, I might... Uh, do I have that down? Let's have a look. So obviously... So this is what? One, two, three, four... Uh, what else did I have here? I had something else here. I don't know what it was. Obviously, you want to learn about uh, objects, you know, what they are, how they work. And also, you want to know about, obviously, document dot append method. But, like, you know, the append method document, you know, document dot query selected, you know, get element by ID, you know, manipulating the DOM is you want to learn this type of stuff so basically the dom manipulate doc, document object model right so this is what you want to learn and that that's about that, that's literally it you don't need to you don't need to learn anything else this is kind of it for now and you come over to react and you get started with react honestly these stuff you don't need to master because oh well you want to know about it but the thing is you don't want to overwhelm yourself with projects to say to yourself oh well i don't want to learn a javascript framework yet because i feel like i'm not ready yet or i feel like i need to know these concepts the truth is you know stuff like this document dog get element by id and that type of stuff you don't use that that's why you've got use ref right so you don't actually 
you don't use that type of stuff when you use hooks and react so everything is completely different so this concepts of what you learn here it's not really the same as you use it in react so it's a lot different and to be honest i'll learn the basics here you know if you really want to master it sure you can try and master it by building projects and all that type of stuff and then come over here and you can actually you still learn javascript uh, when you're working with React, right? Because, you know, and plus it's a lot better because there's a lot of people or a lot of jobs looking for React developers, not vanilla JavaScript developers. Yeah, because you're not going to see uh, a very popular website written in plain vanilla JavaScript, right? You see it working in React, right? So that's why you must learn React, right? And the, the coolest thing about this is conditionals as well. Sorry, yeah, that's that's another thing I need to add is conditional uh you know like coding you know con sorry conditional operators in react so you, conditional rendering that's another one i mean that's just conditional rendering okay i'll just leave it like that right but you can see here it's like are you logged in if you're logged in okay cool i'll show you that right if you're not logged in so this is an if statement basically if you're not logged in i'll show you this component instead so these are the types of things which you you can see within that, right? And obviously you want to learn about arrays, you know, the map function. The things that you will learn in here is basically being taught in React, right? So that isn't a problem. And by the way, that's also another one. Use state and set count and the amount of times. And it's like completely dynamic. You can make dynamic web applications, right? So everything that you're looking for is within it right so i can come down here and i can go uh obviously up here and do use state that's a, that's a that's a very popular one that you're going to be using as well so it's use effect and use state and use ref you're going to be using a lot and so it's easy to set up and i don't think that's i think there's a lot more to it <coughs> excuse me so uh let's have a look i'm pretty sure there's more to the documentation with the ui well in regards to the ui right and importing stuff uh you don't really need that conditional rendering yeah you see what i mean conditional rendering mapping and you basically list out that stuff without so basically this stuff you see here you can render that by doing this so using the map method which is just a for loop which just loops the html more than once with the string in it right which is a prop so these are the best things you can do with react right and that's why i suggest it to most people and in regards to managing state obviously you got state management that's another thing state management obviously these things you would learn along the way and yeah so i'm going to leave it up to the person who's watching this video obviously there's going to be state management you know manipulating data using that different states but this is kind of it, right so this is kind of everything to do with react and you can build the most advanced and awesome web applications and the coolest thing is you come over here boop and then you go like this there's a there's another one called react native and guess what it's react Right, so everything that you learn in React, building websites, you can take that knowledge, you can take what you've learned and actually just build mobile apps. That's the coolest thing about React is that you learn once and you write anywhere, everywhere. You write on web, you write on mobile. It's completely cross-platform, which is the coolest thing about React. Svelte does not have that. Vue has a thing called Vue Native, which doesn't actually work. It's terrible and it's outdated. Where React is, has a large community, very popular most used and also there's a thing called next.js which you work with together you, you don't want to be writing this obviously plain vanilla uh, like Re react i mean you can there's nothing wrong with that right react web applications are great right working with next.js is amazing so you, these are the things that you want to learn in this type of scenario so anyways that is basically a wrap up here but honestly if you have any suggestions or questions just leave it down below in the comments and i'll get back to you like i said i'll leave everything in the description for you okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one about reusable components or whatever i come up with 
All right, see you then.